Hi and welcome. We are Croxo, and in this video, we are going to show the current state of a cellular IoT development engine that we built named Coyote 11. We designed Coyote 11 to be a highly flexible and customizable platform to quickly develop, test, and prototype IoT products in a wide range of applications. It's got all the required building blocks, hardware, firmware, and high-level software for fast IoT prototyping implementation and deployment. We really wanted to build a multi-tool development engine with a cellular IoT network connectivity, a full set of onboard sensors for using a wide range of IoT monitoring and controlling applications, plus a cloud-hosted IoT platform for data storage, analysis, reporting, alerts, and live mobile and web dashboards. So the hardware design is powered by Nordic Semiconductor NRF9160 system in package, which is pretty awesome. It has dedicated processors for application and its built-in LTE M MB IoT modem plus GPS receiver. Some general features of Coyote 11 are onboard and external connections also for LTE and GPS antennae. It is battery powered as a USB port for charging and UART interface, includes a digital microphone, a 1 watt audio amplifier, RGB LED, a beeper, and user button for UI. It has a couple of expansion headers with five general purpose IOs, UART, and I2C interfaces. Coyote 11 is loaded with a really cool set of onboard sensing features. We can report GPS and cellular-based location, environmental indicators like temperature, humidity, and atmospheric pressure, indoor air quality, VOC, and RCO2 levels. We can sense RGB colors and ambient light levels. We got 2D gesture, lighter proximity, passive infrared motion, sound level, and magnet detection. It's got a three-axis accelerometer and magnetometer for orientation, electronic compass, and shock or vibration detection. So we pretty much have a full set of sensors for fast IoT prototyping in a wide range of applications. At this moment, these are the operation modes we have for development. They can be made custom to fit any specific application. We got two active modes, tracking and interactive, plus a hibernate mode. In both active modes, we can cycle through three different reporting interval rates. As low as 30 seconds for tracking mode, where we report GPS location plus sensors data down to every two seconds for interactive mode reporting all sensors data. So a hands-on interactive mode demo. The case, we can really model it for different form factors. The top layer of the board is where all the parts are. In the back of the board, we only have the battery. In this case, a 1000 milliamp hour rechargeable battery. A long press of the user button to wake up. Connects to the cellular IoT network and starts reporting immediately. A short button press will cycle through the different reporting interval rates. A quick look at the cloud hosted dashboard in a mobile device and we can try the find me button. To show we can control GPIO outputs remotely in real time. For a view of the Coyote 11 live dashboard, just go to iot.croxel.com on any browser. Select a Coyote 11 device and you'll be taken to the current development dashboard. On the upper right corner, we have the dashboard time window. To get past history or real-time data of, say, the last two hours, or last two minutes. Now let's see reporting data in real time. A press of the reset button to quickly boot up. We connect to the cellular IoT network and we get data reported right away. 
A quick overview of the dashboard. We have a map for the last known location, charts for environmental data like temperature, humidity and barometric pressure. We can see a bar's graph of the accelerometer and magnetometer X, Y, and Z, where we can tell if the device has a vertical or horizontal orientation. We can also see the battery charging state and voltage level, the device firmware version, and a time series table of all reported data. The dashboard is customizable to show data in different ways. We can also add alert thresholds to send out notifications via SMS, emails, or mobile app push notifications. Another cool sensing feature is the RGB colors and ambient light level. This chart shows the ratio of the red, green, and blue light in areas and the yellow line as intensity. If we put a red filter on top of it, we get a bigger ratio of red area and a way lower light intensity. We can also detect proximity and motion activity. The white dome on board the device is the passive infrared sensor. It can be removed or replaced by a smaller or external module. This chart shows the activity as PIR detection counts in green area. The blue line is the distance to an object in front up to 2 meters as measured by the onboard LiDAR sensor. If we sit absolutely still, we get no PIR detection. As soon as we move, we get PIR counts. And if we cover the device, the blue line drops to indicate a short distance object detection. In this same chart, we get magnet proximity detection. If we place a magnet near the device, we can see the detection count as a red line. This will also enable a hidden hyper beeping mode where the device will beep for every event. And finally, we also show the very handy Network Signal Strength Indicator Reference Signal Receive Power, RSRP. If we click on the cellular monitor icon, and thanks to Nordic NRF9160 built-in cellular IoT modem, we not only get RSRP, but a whole lot of network connection data, like connected carrier band and cellular tower unique identification. That's how we can report cellular-based location as an alternative to GPS. Now for a Coyote 11 tracking mode field demo. We jumped in the car, place a Coyote 11 unit in the dashboard, and head out for a short drive. We'll see how it tracks and reports all sensors data in real time. Yes, we can help you develop your IoT product. We can customize Coyote 11 for your application, re-spin the design, or just make a new one for you. If you have an idea, if you're halfway, almost there, or stuck in development hell, just contact us and let's talk. We can help you. Thanks for making it this far. We hope to talk to you soon. Goodbye.